Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of the book PEMF, The Fifth Element of Health. In this video, I want to introduce you to an idea that you may never have heard of, but is perhaps one of the most important concepts you need to understand in natural healing, energy medicine, and to help improve your overall health and longevity. It's called the hormesis effect. In a nutshell, the hormesis effect says stress in the right amount is good. You heard me correct. Stress in the right amount is good. And the hormesis effect is essentially a stressor. And the term hormesis derives from the Greek word hormo, meaning to excite or stimulate. It's a stressor that creates health and longevity at the cellular level. What makes this concept specific is the notion that dosage counts. Again, that's going to be a very important point that we're going to see across both chemical and nutritional hormesis effects and energetic and radiation hormesis effects as well. Basically, it says that at low doses, there's basically no effect and at higher doses become more harmful. And you can see a curve here where there's an optimal dose and not enough is a deficiency and too much is a toxicity. Perhaps the easiest way to understand hormesis is with a couple examples. Exercise is something you're very familiar with, and most people really understand hormesis, just never have heard it with that particular term. For example, if you do strength or resistance training, you're actually stressing your muscles, and you're literally creating little micro tears at the level of the tissue and the muscular tissue. This is why you have to rest to recover, because then the muscles and the cells stimulate a hormesis response to strengthen the body and to repair and regenerate the tissue so that it becomes stronger than before you exercised. But too much stress is bad or toxic, for example, you can overtrain where you work out too much, and that has a counterproductive effect. And we'll see some other examples of hormesis here in a second. So let's now talk about the hormesis effect in good stress. Research on stress has exploded. We now know that stress can damage, but we also know that stress can and often does benefit people in terms of health, fertility, anti-aging, and longevity. And as we mentioned with the dosages, if you don't get a high enough dosage, it doesn't create any results. And too much is injurious or possibly in the case of like pharmacology and toxicology can even be lethal with certain things. And hormesis actually is used by toxicologists. It refers to what's called a biphasic dose response to an environmental agent. The important point here is you can see the bell curve where there's a sweet spot and a diminishing return. This is a biphasic dose response. And to contrast it to a linear no limit response curve would just be a straight line. And that would be like taking one pill is good, two is better, three is even better, four is even better yet. So most of us know that at some point there's going to be diminishing returns. When we really take a look at the biology and our quantum biology, we start to get this sense that our bodies are very finely tuned, quantumly coherent fields of energy and information, and all these very complex networks and pathways, healing response pathways, in which we'll look at a little bit, are very finely tuned to stay in perfect homeostasis, or as we'll define a new term, homeodynamics, which is perhaps even better than homeostasis, as we'll see. Let's now look at how we can use the hormesis effect to our advantage to create overall better health and longevity. Let's use the elements of health as a metaphor to organize all the different ways we can use hormesis to our benefit. So the element earth with respect to food, we have feasting and fasting. So hormesis effect does take place when you fast. You know, intermittent fasting is very healthful and it is a stress to the body, but it's a stress that if it's done right, will create a positive result. Now, you can, again, overdo it to the point of starvation. Again, that's taking hormesis to the wrong side of the curve that we showed earlier to where it becomes harmful. There's also good hormesis research on certain spices and antioxidants. For example, turmeric and ginger have some good research showing a hormesis effect. And also antioxidants like resveratrol, quercetin, and some polyphenols that have also been shown to have a hormesis effect. Water water can have a hormesis effect and even like alkaline ionized water or acidic sparkling mineral waters and even alcohol has been shown to have a hormesis effect and I'm sure we've all heard of the studies with a small amount of wine or beer being healthful I would preface that saying assuming you're getting good organic wine and good organic beer that's got the live cultures that you can get at health food stores but that's true there is good research to show that but again you drink too much wine too much beer obviously it causes liver damage and brain damage and other problems. 
the next element is the element fire or light. So there's good research to show the heat shock proteins and a hormesis effect with, say, sauna therapy, cold thermogenesis. And again, you can go both directions. Next, there's the element air. In this case, we can talk about oxygen and hyperbaric and hypobaric. Again, both ways. You can stress the body with hyperbaric chambers and really saturating the bodies with oxygen. And you could do hypobaric, which is like high altitude training. In the case of hyperbaric, you're stimulating the body's compensatory and reparative systems to the ROS or reactive oxygen species. In the case of hypobaric, you're stimulating the body's ability to produce more hemoglobin naturally to be able to absorb more oxygen. This is why high altitude training is so beneficial. The next element is PEMF, which I call the fifth element of health. And I'm going to save this for the next video. We're going to really talk in detail about pulse magnetic therapy and the hormesis effect. And we're going to compare it to like laser therapy, which has some very, very good research as well. But beyond the natural low frequency PEMFs of the earth, there are higher frequencies from the sun in the form of UV and from the earth's crust in some of like the granite and the, you know, uranium, radon, you know, certain natural stones. These higher frequencies can be referred to as radiation hormesis. And radiation hormesis is a little controversial, but there's actually really good evidence to show that certain types of radiation that we thought were harmful, like UV radiation, for example. Most people think that the UV from the sun is harmful, but yet it actually is integral in producing vitamin D. With sunlight hormesis or using sunlight therapy or for hormesis, I tell people, get out if you can, if you have the privacy of, of a fence around your backyard or your house, lay bare naked in the sun, you know, 15 upwards to 30 minutes a day, and you can flip over on each side. The length kind of depends on at what time of day and how far north or close to the equator you are. Anything certainly over 45 minutes to an hour is probably overdoing it. So we know we can overdo sun therapy, but a lot of people think that it's just overall harmful. That's not true. There's really good research. In fact, the Journal of National Cancer Institute published a report that sunlight actually can reduce the incidence of cancer if you do it in the proper dose, which is sort of contrary to what people think about skin cancer. And there's also another type of radiation is more of your um, gamma rays and x-rays. And there's something called radiation hormesis stones. If you type that in Google, you'll see a website that comes up. There's actually a really good book written on hormesis that talks more in detail on these hormesis stones. And basically, they're polished stones that, like certain type of granites and other types of mineral stones, have a natural amount of like radon or uranium. Again, if you get the stones with the right amount of radiation, it's actually beneficial. Let's now talk about a few more examples of hormesis beyond the five elements. Sleep, too much or too little, you want to get that sweet spot. Mental activity is another form of hormesis where you can challenge yourself through reading and puzzle solving. I just have to say my grandfather, who just recently passed away at age 95, he was mentally sharp up until the very end. And one of the things he did was he did puzzles every day. I think Alzheimer's and some of these dementia-related problems, people say aluminum and all this other stuff, and those probably are components, but people just don't stress their mind enough. If you do retire and, you know, stay productive, stay mentally challenge yourself, learn new things, learn a new language, you know, learn anything, quantum physics, or just like my grandfather do puzzle solving or chess or just reading in general, you know, stress in the right amounts is good. I'm not going to get too much into pharmacology, toxicology, immunizations and, and vaccinations, but there is hormesis research in all of those areas in medicine. And actually, the hormesis effect is even taught in medical schools, especially if you're like, say, a pharmacologist or a toxicologist. This, again, is, again, very, very well-researched idea. It's just that a lot of people haven't heard of it. The reason I'm really doing this video series is related to energy medicine, as we'll see in the next video. People just have this idea that more is better. It's like, oh, if I have this laser therapy light, if this t intensity is good then if I double the intensity, it'll be better. And with PMF therapy, it's a big myth. I mean, it's just a huge myth that's being taught. But all these companies that sell these high-intensity PMF systems, 
It's all about this more is better. And they're totally ignoring the hormesis effect. So we really need to understand this particular effect in the human body to really approach natural healing and energy medicine in a safe and effective way. When you, when you get the sweet spot in the hormesis curve, not only do you get better benefits, but it's also much safer. Thanks for listening. And for more information, go to my website, PEMFbook.com. You can instantly download three free chapters there. I always welcome your questions, comments, and feedback. Get in touch with me at pmfbook.com forward slash contact. I sincerely hope the information in these videos will help you in your quest for greater health, happiness, and well-being.